A little bit ago, there was an article that came across MSNBC, and I have it here, I have a printout of it, and it was entitled, People with Vicious Dogs May Be Vicious Too. I saw this, I go, oh boy, here we go again, because obviously in this article, pit bulls are lumped into the vicious dogs category, no matter what kind of temperament or training they've had. A main issue that I have with this article is the fact that it's comparing licensed beagles, poodles, collies, and other non-vicious breeds with unlicensed vicious dogs. I mean, isn't it safe to assume that people that are out there committing criminal acts aren't necessarily that concerned with registering their dog with the city? So you're grouping the breed of pit bull into a variable within the study that will automatically increase in a negative way. I mean, this article is ridiculous, and it gives the inclination that just because I own a pit bull, I'm probably a criminal. And that couldn't be farther from the truth. I don't really appreciate being accused of being a social deviant or a criminal because I happen to rescue a dog from the shelter, save its life, that just happened to be a pit bull. So, to combat this, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some fun with this one. So we're going to go out. We're going to find these criminals by finding these real-life pit bull owners. I'm going to interview them, find out a little bit about them, and see what they have to say. All right, now i got a, I got a treat for you guys because I actually am in contact with a pit bull owner that's actually agreed to let me go inside his house. So I'm on my way there now. Um, I'm not quite sure if I have the right place because uh, this looks like a pretty nice neighborhood. I'll show you. Got some pretty nice houses around here. Okay, well I found the street, so it looks like I was in the right area. I mean, you know, this might be a little dangerous because it's just myself and I don't have any backup or anything, you know. So, um, hopefully, hopefully if anything happens, I can at least get out with me and the camera, so you know, so that we can prove what happens inside the inside the home of a pit bull owners for everybody to see. Mm. All right, well. We are here in the home of a real life pit bull owner. This is Annie. She is a pit bull. That's the dad. And um, what what do you do for a living? Well, I'm actually on the police department here in town. Oh, really? Um, so you're in law enforcement? Yep. So you're not a criminal then? Haven't ever been a criminal. <laughs> If being in law enforcement and maybe dealing with some criminals, you didn't, you know, get her to try and relate to them or, you know, use her to maybe get in good with them at all? Or? No, I'll try to stay away from the criminals <laughs> as much as I can. She always been good with you? Yes, she has. Well, pretty, pretty, pretty princess. The mm -hmm. first game we played with her. What did you do to her? We put the necklaces on her, crown on her, got the rings, the earrings, we put everything on her. She just sat there and enjoyed it. Not getting yelled at by the teachers or anything too much. You never know, because you know you got a pit bull in your house. <laughs> well, we got the mom back there. Does she sleep in bed? Oh yes. <laughs> I believe this is the one that dressed Annie up back in the day. <laughs> Do you uh, tend to get in trouble at school or anything? No. No? You sure? Yeah. We were yeah. walking on the Douglas Trail and she had her daughter with her. And Daughter wanted to pet Annie, but I, she asked me what kind of dog it was, and I said pit bull. And she goes, "Oh, don't pet that dog." And I, I got pretty mad. Is this a friend? Aunt. <laughs> Aunt. Did you own pit bulls, or you just been around them, or? Yeah, we had a pit bull. Yeah. And, little... and your dad was. The owner, yeah. The owner, and he's a sergeant. Yes. Yeah, this is Maggie. The pit bull of the aunt. <laughs> and. Dog of the sergeant. I don't know if this would work for you, but here's a picture of what she looked at, looked like when animal control picked her up. Wow. And roughly 29 pounds. What she lived through prior to coming to you guys, mm -hmm. and then still all she wanted to do was be with people. Yep. You know, that's a real testament to what this breed's all about. Well. I made it out of there alive in one piece. It didn't really seem like the criminal type to me, but um, you know, you can judge for yourself, I guess. I am here with Wallace doing a frisbee dog show at the Twin Cities Pet Expo. He has become an ambassador with the pit bull breed. And 
I came across the Arata Love Plus booth. This is actually a Rottweiler pit bull rescue. But I figured, you know, all the volunteers, since only criminals own pit bulls, that, you know, we'd find a bunch here. So we're going to interview them, see what they do for a living, and see what kind of background they have. So, all right. Hello there. Hello. And this is your pit bull? Yes. That's Nico. This is Nico. I don't know. He looks pretty mean. Yeah, he's vicious. Hey, buddy. This is the owner, real life pit bull owner. Yes. What do you do for a living? I do a cross work. I work for, uh, I can tell you, I sell joints for a living. All right. Artificial knees and hips. Wow. So I work for a medical supply company that distributes the parts to hospitals and doctors. So you supply them to doctors? Yes. Not like thieves or no, bank robbers? Market. All right. It's all so. legit, above the board, reported to the FDA. Wow. <laughs> Excellent. Any had any run-ins with the law? No, I don't even have a speeding ticket. Wow. Oh, we have another one here. Hello. hello. Hi. You own a pit bull? Yes. What Two. do you do? Two of them. Oh, and you're double. You're That's double true. criminal. <laughs> what, what do you do for the night? I'm a nanny. A nanny? Yes. So I work with kids and so do my dogs. Wow. <laughs> Your pit bulls work with yes. kids? Yes. Right, isn't that dangerous? No. <laughs> <laughs> we love everything they love. That's good. All right. Any background no, record? Are oh, you yeah, sure? Nothing, you know, abuse of kids or anything? No. All right. Kids like you? Yes. All right. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Well, thank you very much. I don't think there's any criminal activity going on here. Ooh, there's another one. Yeah. Are you the owner? Yes, I am. What do you do for a living? I'm an accountant. You're an accountant? Yes. I'm really proud. Okay. Are you counting for any drug dealers or anything? Not that I know. I think that is a no, okay. Well, hey, I gotta ask. You know, you own a pit bull and everything. Hello, where, you have a pit bull mix? I do. Oh. I have no criminal background and I'm married to a police officer. All right, hey. <laughs> okay, seriously, what's with all the law enforcement people owning pit bulls? So, are you sure? No. Absolutely sure. All right, that's great. I appreciate no it. No speeding tickets either. All right. <laughs> We're here with another pit bull owner. This is Madeline. She's a year and a half old American pit bull terrier. She's a therapy dog. Uh, she's also an agility dog and a uh, general all around good dog. All right. Well, what do you do for a living? Uh, I design I, uh, design and lay out ethanol plants, uh, also dog food plants, corn mills, uh, flour mills, out of uh, heavy industrial work. All right. Well, that doesn't sound. Uh, too, I guess, criminal to me, or you know, like well, I had a few speeding tickets a few years ago. Uh oh. Um, I, 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 I sad to say that's my worst offense, so. All right, so you're not any big hard time criminal, drug dealer, or anything like no, that. No, sell drugs. All right. uh, didn't drink until I was 22. Wow, that's pretty good. These yeah. days. All right, what kind of dog do you have? American bulldog. American bulldog. Yep. Do uh, people mistake that for a pit bull at all? All the time. Yeah, people cross the other side of the street and hold their children tight. And <laughs> well, you know, I mean, having that type of dog, obviously, you know, criminal or something. So, I mean, what do you do for a living? Um, I went to school for law enforcement. And I work in data entry. <laughs> Did you, were you not allowed in law enforcement because of a background, maybe? Uh, nope, I graduated with my class, so right. and I just didn't want to work out in the cold or in <laughs> Minneapolis. Those seem like some pretty nice people to me. What do you think? And you know, I myself own a pit bull. You remember the family that we went and visited inside their home? Well, since he works in law enforcement, he agreed to help me out. So we're going to go see my record and see what kind of criminal background I myself have as a pit bull owner. Background check. Okay. Just want to show me your license. Sure. Okay. Right back here. I'm a little nervous. Hopefully, I'll get out of here. And they won't be real. Well, put me behind bars. Okay. Yeah. Here's some information for you that you have no background. No background no whatsoever? Background. So yep. I'm not a criminal? Correct. All right. Sweet. <laughs> so I can leave? I don't have to get put behind bars? Yep, you're free to go. Sweet. Excellent. <laughs> I appreciate it very you're much. You're welcome. Good luck. Thank you. All right. Yeah, thank you so much. No problem. I appreciate it. All right, I'm free. Let's go. <laughs>